Okay, folks, I'm trying to do a little videoing with my tablet. We'll see how this comes out. Anyway, it's a garden update, and as you can see, a lot of grass and weeds back in the garden. It's a never-ending battle, I believe. I'm going to come out here this morning and prune up my tomatoes. Tie them up a little higher. But you can see they have really, really shot up. They're doing very well. They're blooming. Some of them even have tiny tomatoes on them, and I'll take pictures of those whenever I uh, get done with this. And I'll also, uh, after we get all the weeds out, then I'll catch you up on how it looks after that. Anyway, beautiful tomatoes. And let's see, there's a little bit of... There's lettuce, a little bit of lettuce up this row. It's just part of a row. This is a row of Mexican cucumbers. Uh, can you see those little guys? Yeah. And we're going to have to find them. Now, believe it or not, I, I was gone for two weeks to my mother's house. Uh, and my son actually did come out. He tilled and he pulled weeds and did stuff like that, but fighting weeds is a battle. These are my tomatillos. They're blooming. These are my sweet banana peppers. And on down that way are my peppers. A squash out here, this whole patch. Uh, quite a few hills of squash of different varieties. This is a, sorry about my shadow. This is a yellow hybrid of some kind. Just some seeds I got. In the middle is supposed to be zucchini, and over on the far side is yellow crookneck. So, let's walk around this way. Besides the weeds that we're going to have to get rid of, this is a weed that we love. This is pokeweed, and uh, it's coming along strong. And there's also quite a bit of lamb's quarter out here, which we also eat. And this is smilax or sawbriar. Some people call it greenbriar, and we uh, snack on that. So let me take you around to the other side of the garden. Okay, here we are at the pepper patch. You can see. And then the grass held off for a long time, and now it's coming with a vengeance. So all these are hot peppers. This is called Dragon Cayenne right here at this side. I'm not exactly sure what all the rest of them are. They've got little pegs for them, but uh, anyway. Uh, we've got all of our hot peppers away from our sweet peppers. I've always heard that you don't want to plant them together because they'll, uh, the sweet peppers get hot. <laughs> I don't know how much truth there is on it, but we're not taking any chances. In the shadow again. Anyway, there you go. We're going to have to be working on things every single day to get the weeds out, and I wish I had some kind of uh, something to block everything with, but I don't right now. We've already pulled two peppers off of these uh, hot banana peppers. Not that we're eating them. Man. Anyway, we still got another, we need to open up another garden and uh, get some lighter things planted. It's only May. We've got plenty of time for two green beans and uh, might throw some uh, pumpkins in the ground and stuff like that. Just see how it goes. We've opened several patches and we're just going to keep going until we can't stand it anymore. Okay, thanks for watching. Alright, this is my okra row. All I planted this time was Clemson Spineless.
I've got uh, two kinds of cucumbers here, and one of them is straight eight, and one of them is the uh, barpless cucumbers. This is the uh, this here is the barpless cucumbers in this half of the row, and over here are the straight eight. I like straight eight as a good general purpose cucumber for eating and for making pickles. Now then, right here. These big leaves are some are kind of radish. They're called rose, rose radishes or something like that. They're supposed to be great big red ones. And these leaves, as you can see, are gigantic. There's some uh, butter crunch lettuce right through here amongst the weeds and a kale that we can't remember if it was red russian kale or dwarf kale but anyway it's growing and over here carrots of course i'm continually fighting the battle to keep the weeds out of them and it's going to be in the 90s every day this week so i'm going to be out here it's pretty early in the morning i'm going to be out here every morning doing something in the garden i'm going to start with pruning tomatoes and tying them up and if it don't get too hot on me I'm going to come out here and pull weeds in the carrots my son has done that a couple of times in the last two weeks and you see they just come right back these are my sugar pod peas let me tell you something as always as always they're producing like crazy when the pods get too big and tough I just shell them out but we've already had, we've already eaten from these, these part of our wild forage and part of our garden stuff to make salads the other day. And it was certainly good to have some nice big salads on the plate. Man, I'll be glad, glad, glad when the tomatoes come on. Okay. You can see there's weeds here too. But it doesn't seem to be affecting these onions any. And we'll, but we'll still weed them. I want you to look. These are spring onions, y'all. These are not regular bulb onions. And yet, look at this. Look how big this bulb is on this. So I'm happy for that. They've done very well. And my potatoes are coming along. A lot of them started blooming them. A lot of them have, have finished. And uh, they're doing really well. They're really nice down, better at this end than they are at that end. But we'll get enough potatoes out of here to can some up and share some with people and just to eat them fresh. This is only third week of May, fourth week, fourth week of May. And we planted them uh, around the first of, uh, sometime in March. I'd have to go back and look now. But they're about 100 to 120 days. So it'll be in J July when we start digging. So there you have it for that part. And then I'm going to go out and show you the peppers. 